Hello, P6 here back again. Spyro the Dragon, part four. Um, let's do the speedway flight area. This time, night flight. Not night flight as in crash, but night flight as in Spyro. The background kind of looks like crash crystals, you know, but they're blue instead of pink. But yeah, let's fly for the rings. Superman 64. No, not really. But uh, Spyro. I never played Superman 64. Um, and uh, I'll probably never will. And that maybe that's for the best, you know, to spare me the frustration. But let's go for the flight area. This one is kind of easy. I, I like this one better than the first one. But uh, in Spyro 3, yeah, there's the best video areas, I think. Really great. And they're really fun to play, also. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do on them. Unlike this game, where you have one objective, and the only thing is, you know, go through it as fast as possible. Get all everything in one go. But in Spyro 3, you can do different stuff, which is kind of nice. Like these lighthouses. Fairly straightforward. Also, I think this is by far the easiest of the flying areas. See, got this one in the first go. And Crash tried to do a loop, but he failed and fly it into the lighthouse. As you can see, he's stuck there. Um, but yeah, everything done. New record 114.60. Try again? No. Let's don't do that. Don't delay it. That went pretty fast. We did that in one like two minutes. And 1900 treasure. That's nice. That's very nice. Uh, oh crap. In the purple juice. Grape juice. I think. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's do this one. I like snow and ice. And let's see if we can. Yeah. That, yes, perfect. Ice cavern. Which is a nice area. It's snowy. It's King Gigas by Tal. Ice. 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 Just want to check out 405 dragons. That's a new record. Right, do some gems behind this one. And uh, over here, also. This is kind of big, big level. I think this is the bigger level this far in the game. Um, there might. Uh, I maybe. There's some bigger levels later, but this is by far the biggest level so far, without a doubt. And it's snowy, I like the snow. Fresh, 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 fresh. And Ulrich. A word of caution. He would be awesome as well. He's huge. You grow big, like me, before charging those large enemies. Yeah, I know. As I said, all the dragons in. Peacekeepers looks pretty awesome, I think. There's bats. Can we? Yeah, there we go. All those small critters that you know turn into butterflies when you kill them act like health for sparks. Kind of nice. It's not that hard, you know, to restore health in this game. Can I see? And I think the rain just stopped, or at least it slowed down a bit. But it was raining like crazy just a couple of minutes ago. But hey, I guess that's autumn. A whole bunch of leaves fall down now, also. It's like yellow leaves wherever you go. Which looks very nice, I think. I like autumn. Soon Halloween. Or it's the middle of October now, but yeah, soon. Um, oh, that's right. I've, yeah. Todor, Todor, Todor. Spyro. Looks like the so one I said was a dark weight dragon. Grey with black wings in Clifton. Can make their feet very mm. Hmm. Hmm. And he's like, oh. Mm -hmm. Let's go back up here. 
miss a gem down there. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, shall we? There we go. And you need a key for this one. Okay, no gems on these thingies. I think there's gems on the ones down there, actually. So you have to... Yeah. It's pretty easy to miss that, actually. Oh, I missed that a couple of times, and we can fly down there right away. Yeah, and then we got the key, but now we're over here. So we need to backtrack to that area where we just went by, we can... Yeah, it's that way. Let's do that right away. Dragon, it's Andor, Todor Andor. Thank you for releasing me. Okay. That's everything. It kind of sucks when they don't have anything interesting to say. Everything they say is, thank you for releasing me. I think it's funnier when they have some something useful to say. Or it depends. Not everything they say is useful, but. I think it's funnier to see when they talk. Oh, we're doing this backwards. I usually go for this area the other way around, but this works, I guess. Uh hmm. You see, there's a big guy wearing armor. Can't flame him. Okay. Slips off the ice. When you charge him, that's nice. And uh, treasure over here. I don't know if the music is messed up on this one too. I hope not. Uh, as you see, we're back here now. So let's go get that chest. gems I think. Uh, let's go back down here. Spyro wiggles his tail when he flies. Looks kinda silly, I think. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, nothing. The camera can you see it got stuck behind these walls. It's kinda annoying. Doesn't really make sense. But that's what happens. Where you go? Christmassy song when you charge them. Well, at least I think it sounds Christmassy. Um, let's go on top of these things. Okay. Let's try it again. There we go, and perfect. More of these guys. It's charged, and they fall down. So sad. Fall down to this grape juice, purplish thingy. Let's call it grape juice. He's on skis. See, there's really nothing to it. Those enemies are very, very easy. I think we'll have time for another level after this one. Hopefully. But yeah, let's write these light posts to bounce into them. Don't want to do it from behind because there's a risk of falling back when you do that down into the purplish stuff. There's another one over here. Kind of strange that there's an ice level in this desert-like environment, you know. Oh man, he's a dude, coward! Running away from me, trying to get me from behind. Well, tough luck, buddy. 350. We're missing one 
50. Oh, that's right. He's... No, no. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, that was very close. He saved us there. Oh, thank you, Mel thingy man. Dragon number four, Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Looks kind of awesome too. His ready, blueberry. I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, one dragon with 25 percent already. For the way through the game. Um, I don't know how this LP will turn out in length. Might be shorter, might be longer, or about the same length as Crash 2. I always thought this game was longer and harder though, but maybe it isn't. I don't know. As I said, I haven't played this in a while. Got another one up, so seven lives again. Should have had more, but I have been dying kind of frequently on some pretty. Four oh yeah, 400. I thought it was just one up there, or three one ups actually. I don't know how to get those. I think I don't. At least I don't remember how to get them anyway. So there's one dragon left, and he's over here. Asher. Thank you for releasing me. Okay, he was a gaggy old man apparently. Uh -huh. I think you can fly from up there and get those one ups. Uh, mm -hmm. That um, makes sense. Maybe we should try that. I kind of need the lives, the rate I'm going at at least. So let's rush back there. Checkpoint there, nice. At least I think that's how you're supposed to get them. I'm not quite sure. Uh -huh. oh, we could not. Never mind. Is it... Oh, that was kind of close to the edge. Don't want to be dying now. Let's take this one's checkpoint. That works perfectly. Uh huh. Can't really. I guess you have to make a leap of faith, you know, to actually get to those. Let's see. It's it's over there, right? Behind this thing. Must be. Let's try that. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Ten lives. No, no. Yeah, ten. <laughs> For a second, I couldn't count. Oh. Okay. Don't we? But don't want to be doing that. But now we're completely done with this one. So return home. Perfect. This is going pretty well. I think we're at. Uh, yeah. Works. That works. Because the next level is pretty short. That's the longest one in this area. Um. <laughs> That's Cliff Town. We have already been there. What's over here then? Yeah, back, way back here. We go. Dry Canyon. This must be a desert level. Can't be an ice level. Of course. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of this world. I like the dragons in it, but I don't like... I don't really like the environment. It's too hot for my taste, actually. I like the ice level, but... This works. This works. Let's see. More grape juice. There's a thief here. Crud. Crud, crud. Oh yeah, there's enemies wielding guns now. Uh, I ran right into a bullet there. Can't be too pleasant. Let's get this little SOB. There we go. Perfect. Five eggs. There's about six, seven of them left. Okay. I think. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, seven works. Great, let's see. Is okay. Four hundred jumps on this one too. So we're moving up here. Uh, it's 
Inspire of Inspire of Free, uh, I think all the levels in the first world has 400 gems. All the levels in the second world 500, 600, and 700. So it kind of steps it up. Just a whole bunch of treasure in uh, Spyro 3, actually. Let's get this one. Focus on Spyro 1. Conan, the Barbarian. Thank you for releasing me. Uh, that was kind of wimpy for a bar Barbarian. But... Oh, okay. Never mind. Can we... There we go. More vultures. And then this this guy who's <laughs> That's <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> That's so stupid. And he's like I think that's the same sound effect from uh, Crash Bandicoot when you hit the vultures on slippery climb actually. It might be. Count this Sounded kind of reused from that one. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see. Four, okay. Four dragons. This one, it's. Oh, can we. There. Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. Damn, you he looks are intimidating. A good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like he doesn't believe in us. Let's finish this first, and then we'll fly. Another one up there. Nice, nice, nice. Eleven lives. That's gotta be enough, man. See, this was pretty short. We're actually at the end already. But. There's a whole bunch of stuff to do left, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah. There's Dragon. And uh, we'll have to glide to him. That's what he, the Dragon over here, was talking about. Uh, have to glide over here. I think this is the one at least. Yeah, it's this one. And go out here to this ledge. And you have to do this. Fly over here. Not really hard. Can't really see what you, where we're going at, but if you know it's if you know it's there, it's no problem. Maximus. Not Maximus, but Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. Damn, he's taking I up the entire screen. Here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Yeah, and when we got the key, we're at. Okay, that's good. Now we're going back to this part. We didn't go up these steps before, but let's do that now. Damn, right into that. Let's fly over here. And we can drop down here. And this again. <laughs> that cracks me up. I, uh, that looks so stupid. A whole bunch of gun wielding maniacs. More this again. That's animal abuse. Tell you what. But it's damn funny. More. Oh, again over here? Damn. They must. Insomniac must have thought this was funny too. Or else he wouldn't include it that many times. Okay, fly over the edge there. Going off the edge. Here. And this is the last dragon for this level. And we're running around in circles like a moron. But it's Ivor. Is that 
that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Is he scratching his Everything face with his wing? Smoke. We've known. Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. It's kind of funny that all the dragons that you rescue are male. So, um, aren't there any female dragons? I mean, how do they reproduce? Or are they like hermaphrodites? I don't know. That's kind of weird. They should have included at least, like, not one, but at least some female dragons. I mean, how can there only be males? That doesn't make any sense at all. I think there's a single female dragon in all the Insomniac Spyro trilogy. I don't know about the newer Spyro games. And I frankly, I don't want to know. Because I don't want to play those games. Insomniac and Naughty Dog. That's the... Oh no, what the... Yeah, but Insomniac for Crash and... No, Insomniac for Spyro and Naughty Dog for Crash. They wouldn't have it any other way. Can't play, you know, those unholy... Abominations that weren't created by those companies, you know. Uh, yeah, we got a quick way back to the exit. I know we can like press start and like exit level, but I usually prefer to uh, go through the portal back home. Yeah, perfect. It's a treasure chest and we got the key, so voila, opens up like magic. We should have have about 390, I think. 395? 97, alright. That's perfect. We're missing three gems. Or two gems, one red and one green. I think that's yeah, there's so over they're over here. With another one up. So that puts us at 12, which that's gotta be enough. I can't figure out where we would need any more lives than that. But this video has gone on for way too long now, so I'm just gonna go back to Homeworld, save the game, and then we'll end. Because right now I'm thinking about playing some Rayman. I haven't started that yet, just playing Dishonored, but I'm gonna start some Rayman. Right after this, actually. 2700, that's nice. So, 31 dragons. There's only like... 49 left, actually. So, let's save the game. Save game. Saving. Save successful! So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, see you next time. P6U, going offline.